Hey guys, I got a good one for you. So today we have a, a special delivery from Canada. Come on, there you go. Uh, this is, um, here's a letter that the guy sent with the kit. This is, uh, it says, thank you, Xbox Open Source Project. Uh, basically what he says, the guy's name is Darren, um, says, thank you for supporting my open source research and design for the original Xbox. As, you, as one of the first customers, I appreciate your confidence in the project, and I'm very happy there are people out there who want to support projects like this. Um, basically, and then he says, you know, if you have any issues or anything, let him know. He'll help you out as much as he can. He's excited for this and, you know, looking forward to the future. <clears throat> um, you know, uh, Darren Thompson is his name, and modding Xboxes is his game. <laughs> Basically, this is called an X, XOSVP, which is, I think, Xbox Open Source Video Project. Um, this is a kit, a DIY kit, um, that allows you to create your own component converter. Um, you know, it's, it's better than the ones you can get on uh, Amazon for $8. You know, the ones you just plug in and pretty much plug and play. Uh, it's a lot cheaper, though, than the original Xbox Microsoft component cables. So it's somewhere in between. The downside, obviously, is you have to build it yourself, which um, I understand that. So, opened up the package here. We have a kind of a uh, butchered, just a cut-off VGA cable here. A blank Xbox connector right there. And then here we have a static bag full of a lot of goodies. This will be the the output of the kit RGB with uh, digital video or I'm sorry digital audio out. The main part of it we have the board here, um, basically just the where you're gonna put it, tie everything in together. For some reason my camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. Designed by Darren Thompson, the man himself. Here's a VGA um, input going to go on this side of the board here shielding parts for the inside of the Xbox uh, end we have the actual Xbox connector here which is going to go inside there eventually and then we have the rest is kind of the guts of the board we have a microcontroller a capacitor some resistors and then these two screws which I have no idea where those go <clears throat> it's a pretty straightforward kit it's gonna take a lot of fine-tuned skills to do um, so I'm definitely gonna put my fine tip on my solder and um, take my time and read the instructions very carefully yeah that's about it really so I'll just show some uh, time-lapse footage of me doing that and getting into it and then we'll get to some I guess benchmarks with uh, against maybe a, I have an $8 Xbox uh, Amazon cable and then I'll compare it to that. I don't have the uh, the original Microsoft version so if someone else has one you know they want to let me borrow or something I guess I could do that but for the most part you'll see versus the most common solution to getting a RGB versus this kit here um, and I'll put links and stuff to this guy yeah, he's, he's just very uh, very quick to respond to any kind of questions or emails and stuff um, kind of a really niche thing but if you're looking for a RGB solution for your Xbox and you don't want to just buy the pound cable or a cheap Amazon one You want something of good quality check this guy out here. That's pretty good. So uh, we'll get to it All right, so cut to a few days later the boards mostly complete uh, I didn't do the digital audio and I'll explain why in a couple seconds here uh, But everything else is here. There's six um, 750 ohm resistors, uh, one small SMD capacitor, and one surface mount uh, capacitor here. And then normally there would be another um, SMD 0.1 microfarad capacitor here as well. But I didn't do that because A, I lost it. <laughs> They're about the size of a, I don't know, like a little bit bigger than a pinhead. And uh, it fell into my carpet. And um, quite literally a needle in a haystack situation there. I vacuumed the floor. I went through the canister of my vacuum and I could not find it. So I gave up on it. And however, I don't really have a way to receive digital audio in my current setup. So I don't have a newer stereo system that accepts digital audio like this. So it basically is pointless anyways for me. 
I'm gonna have to do a separate um, stereo output on my Xbox in order to use this system. So that's something I maybe could have incorporated uh, into this by pulling audio signal, the I guess the analog audio signal from the Xbox itself, but I'm gonna do it differently just because I, I didn't do it this way. As you can see, it's not perfect. Um, I'm not very good at this really small scale soldering. Some of the resistors are a little crooked and stuff like that, but it works. Um, it took me some time and I didn't tape any, me doing any of it because I was like, my, my face was right up against this thing trying to solder it. It's an advanced soldering thing. And then here's just where I soldered the, uh, the connectors and stuff on the bottom. Pretty straightforward there. But uh, if I had to rate this on a scale from one to 10, one being like a, a basically brand new item ready to go, you know, like you buy it from the store and plug it in, that's a one. 10 being like you developed and made everything yourself, like Darren did basically. I'd say this is a seven or an eight. This is pretty tricky. I mean, you basically just get a blank board with some with some pads on it, and then you get all the components that he sends you. Uh, in terms of that, it's easy, but then actually putting them on the board, for me personally, it was tough. I'm not the best at soldering, and I haven't done it in a while, but anyways, it does work, so it's not a failure or anything like that. It's just not very pretty. So here is the the cable that plugs into the VGA end of this board. He gave us a cutoff VGA cable, and then on the other end is a Xbox uh, cable end. So as you can see, I even have parchment paper underneath this, the shroud here. If you follow his video on how to do this, he's got a very, Darren has a really good video on how to do this cable. Uh, I'm gonna link it in the description. There's no point in me even showing you how I did it because his video is pretty much exactly what I followed to a T. It was perfect and it was probably the best explanation that anyone can give on doing this. So just follow his video and uh, and you'll see why there's parchment under there. Basically, you plug the VGA, you plug the VGA into here, like so, and then you plug your red, green, and blue into your TV. If you had digital audio installed, you can plug that into your stereo or whatever. And then you plug this end into your Xbox. If you ordered an enclosure for this, you'd obviously put that on. The VGA cable, I thought this was kind of funny, but the VGA cable doesn't reach the connector. So, kind of a little bit of a, a weird mishap. Maybe it, with, if you have the enclosure, it'll screw into that. I don't know. So I'll show some videos now of the video output and I'll compare it to a cheap $8 Amazon cable and then I'll give my final impressions on it and I guess my little bit of a review. All right, so final impressions. Let's just go over, I'll go over the good and the bad and maybe some critique and, you know, constructive criticism. So the good, the picture quality is definitely better. I know it's hard to see in the comparison videos and the pictures I shot, but there's definitely a difference there. Uh, just, from, just from playing games and stuff, you'll notice it sitting up close. From 10 feet away or 20 feet away in your living room, you probably won't notice too much of a difference. However... Those who want the best picture quality, they're going to want to get something like this. Definitely. And it's a lot better price. Another good thing, it's much cheaper than the Xbox official Microsoft component stuff. You know, they don't make it anymore. Hopefully, he gets success out of this and he makes plenty for everybody that want it, you know. Uh, let me do a comparison. Uh, this is the thickness of the $8 Amazon brand or Amazon sold component kit. You see how thin these are, right? And then these are the component cables I was using. I think I got this from an old 
Comcast cable box or something like that, but lots more shielding, a lot better signal all around. High resolution, ultra shield cable. If you have a digital audio you know, input on your stereo or something like that, it probably has really good sound. I don't know. I don't have that. I do downstairs in my entertainment, like in my living room with my surround sound setup, but I'm not going to do that because A, I can't because I lost the capacitor. And B, I just, I don't care about it that much. You know, this is a retro game console and I, I'm good with just the regular stereo sound setup. So anyway, so another good thing is the, you know, the VGA cable that he sent. He could have easily got a cheap, thin, like Amazon style or eBay style VGA cable, but instead he went with a monoprice brand with the really good, you know, shielding and thickness and stuff, and it's really, really nice. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a pro grade, I guess. I don't know. And then you know you have your Xbox connector down here. It's embarrassing to see this parchment paper here, but you'll know why it's there if you watch his video on how to do it. Um, it's kind of used to slide this up and down, but it works brilliantly and the signal is great. Yeah, I mean, and the kit, it sends you everything you need in the kit. All you need is a little bit of soldering skills and, you, and you're good to go. That's the good stuff. Some of the, the I guess not the, the negative stuff or the critiques I have on it, I don't think, I mean, he might have, but I don't think he needed to use the SMD style uh, resistors and capacitors. He probably could have used the pass-through, the normal size kind. Um, there's plenty of space on this board. So I know it looks cool if you can do it right, but to make it easier on plebeians like me who aren't very good at soldering, I would have personally have liked the uh, normal capacitors. It would have made ins installation a lot easier or, you know, the construction of this kit a lot easier. But, you know, I mean, this is a more advanced kit, I'd say. Another thing I wish maybe was an option, um, when you maybe you order the kit, you can say, I want digital audio or I want analog audio. And then maybe like right here, he could put the uh, white and red RCA jacks instead of this digital audio jack. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know his develop, uh, you know, the development and stuff behind this, but that's just my personal kind of critique. You know, other than that, there's really nothing else wrong uh, or negative about this, I have to say. Good price, great quality worth it it's fun to build even though it was tough I, I enjoyed it i enjoyed challenging myself and this was definitely um a challenging but fun and rewarding build altogether and i can't recommend it enough if you're looking for the best picture quality you can i get the xosvp breakout made by darren thompson i'm sure if you just google xosvp hd breakout you'll find it or i'll link and i'll leave a link in the description where you can find it i know it's kind of a early access right now kind of a prototype Maybe kind of a prototype thing, uh, limited run, but if you email him, you probably get a hold of one. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.